Give me time oh. to realize my cry. That's not good. Fashion is my life. I, I look at myself as a blank canvas and I think, you know, makeup and nail polish and jewelry and, you know, big clothes and big crazy fabrics. That's, that's me expressing myself. It was definitely hard growing up. I was different, you know, I didn't fit in. I have always felt out of place even since I was little. I didn't think being myself was the right thing to do. So it was hard and I felt like I was hiding. I didn't want to be myself because I didn't know what that was and what that meant for me, so it was easier just to stay in the dark. I sat at home, I sung Cindy Lauper, I sung Amy Winehouse and I sung Elvis and, you know, they were my friends. So today I've brought my family. This is my mum Jodie, my dad Russell and my best friend and sister Amia. It's been an emotional journey. There are no words to describe how hard it is to watch your son go to school and have no one to play with and, um, you know, hear them say little remarks and have him wanting to dance and dress up, you know. Um, <laughs> I just love him. Um, it's hard. It's hard. You are incredible. Thank you so much. Great song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. <laughs> You know what, it's what was really nice, I mean obviously... You're so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> what was really nice, because obviously that song is so personal to me, you know, it's, uh, it's my own personal love story in a way. And it's almost impossible to imagine anyone else singing it, you know, and you just added so much kind of sadness to it. And what was really interesting is when we turned, you got better. So that tells me, I mean, that you are a kind of natural performer. I love the outfit. Thank you so much. This doesn't only get accepted, so oh, thank you. Oh, you're in the right home I'm... here. <laughs> thank you. Honey, can I just say, never ever look for acceptance. You know, take me as I am, that should be your motto. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I'm not going to assume because you did my song that you should go with Team George, but you know, really. Well, I mean, really... that would be the obvious choice. You know, don't um, make the obvious. I would choice. never describe myself as an obvious choice for anybody. <laughs> you know, I feel like so far you're, you know, the most fun person that's appeared in front of our eyes. And <laughs> no, but there's also a very serious side to you, and I want to explore that. And you've definitely got that. Yeah. So we could just have so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. It will be an outrage. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm having this out of body moment where. I just love seeing the fact that you get up there and, and sing one of George's songs that means so much to him and seeing your reaction to people 
loving what you do. And then it's, I'm feeling just really grateful right now to sit here and, and really grateful for people, you know, just connecting with you in this moment and seeing a dream come true. Thank you. Your voice was beautiful. I loved how you sang that song. You, I think you're really special. Thank you so much. It's really beautiful. It's such a big voice. It's a beautiful voice. It had just so much emotion and vulnerability to it. And I, I think that it speaks a lot about you. I feel like you're going to be one to watch. I think you're incredibly talented. I think you're I'm, incredibly talented. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> I think you're fabulous. And I, I loved the performance you put on for us. It, it was a lot of emotion. You felt that from you. And of course, you know, doing George's song, like George would say, don't do the obvious thing. Yeah. But please don't, because No, please I would... do. Please do. <laughs> you know, last year, I came second with Hosea, who is currently on a tour of the UK, getting played on the radio. I do believe he's the first voice artist to be played on the radio in the UK. I took him on tour with me in Australia before Christmas. Mm. And I'm, he's a friend for life. He's incredible. And yeah. I feel like you and I could make a great connection and you know, you'd know you be you. perfect for You'll see him a lot Team backstage, George. but if you work with me, I think that <laughs> we could come up with some amazing music for you that is best suited for you. I love this song for you, but I would love to explore what else you can do. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, so I have to make a choice now? This is insane. Do you I really want to hurt me? I want to <laughs> stop at you. I watched a performance last year and you inspired me so much and I just want to say thank you so much. You, you let people like me wear what I want to wear and put these lashes on that take thousands of years. You've just inspired me so much. I'm going to go with Team George. Thank you so much. Welcome home, baby. <laughs> awesome. Song you're singing is Believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was a bit nervous about getting Believe by Cher. I'm so emotional about it because she's so iconic and she does things so different. But thinking about my blind audition, thinking about Boy George's song, I completely switched it up. Inside. I spent so long on the piano trying to think of a different way I can make this modern and different. <laughs> The coaches loved it, so it was awesome to see all my work really pay off. Really want to make me cry. There is a lot of affectation in your voice. You do a lot of what I call vowel soloing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all a bit like this. Oh. And you don't need to do that. Okay. Iron it out. I don't know what it is. It's this weird phenomenon. It's this weird affectation that's very modern, and I find it very annoying. Pushing me aside and I can't break through. Okay, don't drag all the notes out. Okay. Don't flourish everything. You don't need to add sequins onto the end of every line. Okay. You can almost underplay it. The worst thing Shelter could do is kind of over sing, do that kind of weird, you know, chewing the vowels. I think there's a barrier there, George. Oh, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Okay. I think that's gonna be my biggest hurdle, is to find my own sound and really just find who I am. Really don't think you're strong enough, no. Was that wrong? It wasn't right, it was... I just feel um, like I need to take it somewhere. There's a, no, you don't. Okay. You do not need to take it somewhere. You need to make an investment emotionally. There's a little touch of the Sam Smith in your performance and you need to watch that as well. What do you mean by that? Just that you sound a lot like him and I think that's deliberate. Sam Smith's amazing. He's my neighbour. I hear him warming up in the bath. But that position is gone. I think for you it's about going away and unlearning some bad habits. OK. We need to find your voice. But now it's out of my hands. You know, now the next time I see Sheldon it will be on stage. No matter how hard I try you keep pushing me aside and I can't break through. All right. There's no talking to you. Do you believe in life after love? Wow. I can feel something inside me say I really don't think you're strong.
think I'm going to take a risk and, you know, kind of go with my instinct. And the artist that I'm going to take through is going to be... Be Sheldon. Sheldon, congratulations! You're going through! I'm Team George! You won the knockout! Yeah. <laughs> Boy George has put me up against Sheldon, and I'm very, very happy about that. Sheldon is sassy. He is so sassy, and I am so inspired by his confidence. How do you feel about going up against each other? Really excited. I'm but so excited. Yeah. I don't know, there's something like this weird connection here. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. she seems a bit different for her age, and so do I, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll look, boo. <laughs> there is something so pure and so beautiful about Michaela's voice. I can understand why George stole her. I don't know why she wasn't chosen in the first place. She should have stayed on Team Delta, because I'm nervous to battle her now. George wanted Michaela on his team after her breathtaking blind audition. Honey, I would love to coach you. So he didn't hesitate in stealing her from Team Delta oh, yes! at the knockouts. Delta said that she wasn't sure if you were strong enough to go through. I disagree completely with that. I think as a singer, you're absolutely ready. Your challenge is to accept that you're here and that you know, you're good enough to be here. Believing in myself, it'll definitely be probably the biggest challenge to get into a good headspace where I trust my abilities a little bit more, quite a lot more actually. For you, Sheldon, mm. you think far too much about what you do yep. and you've got to watch that you don't allow kind of drama of yep. what you're wearing and what's on your face to sort of take over the performance. Yep. Dial it in a bit, like yep. bring it back, strip it back. I think the thing I'm scared of is really facing that demon and going up there and really just being myself, not faking anything at all, being genuine, being honest and just putting myself out there. So the song I'm giving you is Diamonds by Rihanna. <sighs> Diamonds isn't really a song I'd pick up and start singing, so it's going to be a challenge. Rihanna is such a big artist. It's just a lot to live up to. Suddenly you look like the wind's been taken out of your sails, like you've been deflated. I've given them something that's going to be a challenge for them. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're, you're a shoe oh, down. Maybe for you, okay. this is where you could actually employ a little bit of Sheldon drama. Okay. Let those butterflies lift you up. It's a lot of pressure to be perfect to be a certain thing. It's definitely a youth thing with those two. They're very young and they need to trust what they're capable of. Fine light in a beautiful sea, I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star I see A vision of ecstasy When you hold me, I'm alive We're like diamonds in the sky Nice, I like the arrangement. I knew that we'd become one right away Oh, right away At first time the energy of sun rays I saw the light inside of your eyes Tonight, you and I We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky I too, I, so alive We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky Palms rise to the universe Says we've 
in this moment, I'm gonna choose Sheldon. Sheldon is, you know, a beautiful little butterfly with a hint of drama. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. But suffers with a little bit of self-confidence. How are you feeling about this whole experience? I know, a bit shaken by a few things. I don't know, I think a lot of people look at me and think, oh, makeup, you know, getting through because he's clothes and that kind of thing, but it's just not. Oh, you know, it's, that's not it. Who said that? Well, oh, this, is, this, like... this is stuff online? Yeah. It's hard reading comments like that, especially knowing how hard I've worked for it. I'm just sitting here going, what else do I have to do to prove myself? I think you've got to really stop worrying about what other yep. people think and enjoying the fact that you've made it to the lines. Yeah, right. Ready? Yep. What the hell am I doing here? For Sheldon's first live performance, I've given him Radiohead Creep, which is an anthem. You really need to find the sensitivity in the beginning of this song. And I feel like you've just got to bring a real fragility to it, you know? And you're very nervous. Yeah. It's just a bit scary when somebody who's so amazing can see right through you. Don't worry about how people are going to judge you, what they're going to think. You've got to make this magical. Yeah. We're going into the live shows. And if you're nervous now, what's it going to be like on the night? When you were here before, I could look you in the eye. You looked like an angel Your skin made me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special but I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? Oh, I don't belong here It's Frida Kahlo. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Hi, look at you. Sheldon is everything and the kitchen sink. He's a light bulb. Thank you for bringing me flowers. That's so kind of you. Oh, look. <laughs> He's lit. <laughs> so we've done high drama with Creep. Yep. Now we want to inspire people. For this week's live show is Alicia Cara, Scars to Your Beautiful, which I think is a really positive, beautiful yep. message. And we're going to need some joy from you. Mm -hmm. I want to see, you know, you elevating the, the, the viewer. Yeah. One, two, three, four. She just wants to be beautiful, she goes. That was a really positive message. 
uh, about acceptance. It's a really interesting moment for Sheldon, you know, because I think he's been really struggling to sort of find that acceptance. And he walked in today dressed as Frida Kahlo, you know. Ah, that's so exciting! But putting on that mask is a way of kind of protecting yourself from the world. Do you ever feel like you need to wear a mask? Is that kind of part of, of why you do what you do? It's a bit confronting hearing George ask me if I'm wearing a mask or not. For me, my mask was not all this. My mask was putting on a hoodie, covering up my face and sneaking past people. We need to sort of send out the message, you know, I like who I am. Yeah. And I want to encourage you to like who you are as yeah. well. I face my demons with Georgia mentoring and I think now it's just time to get out there and show everyone I'm here to sing, I'm here to inspire and I'm here to spread some love. She just wants to be beautiful, she goes unnoticed, she knows no limit, she craves Attention, she praises an image she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't see the light that's shining deeper than the eyes can find it. Maybe we've made a blind, so she tries to cover up the pain and cut her woes away. Cause cover girls don't cry after their face is made. But there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful just the way you are And you don't have to change a thing The world can change its heart No scars to you beautiful The stars and we're beautiful No better you than the you that you are results here in my hand. Team Joe. And Team George. You are all safe tonight. We're going through to next week's live show. You can leave the stage. Well done, guys. Hey, everyone's got an opinion on Sheldon. Everyone. Anybody up here is here in long-term careers is about reputation. So what you're selling and saying, make sure you live as well. If we can speak honestly, I didn't love myself before, so it's a definite massive journey, and I'm starting to learn to love it. First of all, your reaction to Delta was brilliant. Never, ever, ever be defensive. No. no leave the bitching to me. <laughs> it's just like, oh my God, this is going to go somewhere Come I don't want it to. Love. And you were great. So this week, we're going to do a sort of like art theme. I've got a friend of mine who's a brilliant, brilliant artist. Oh, I've asked hey. him to come in and to, to do something for the set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Next minute, my dad walks out, and I'm like, what are you doing, Dad? And it's so cool to watch Dad create things and watch my visions come alive. We, he, you know, we, we really work well together. He painted that? Yeah. Wow. Back and forth. That is so cool. Yeah. Talent runs in the family. So, Dad, Russell. Yes. Let's tell Sheldon what we've been up to in secret, preparing for this performance. 
The theme that I put in together is like cards. Cards of Sheldon, Ooh. which represents who you are. So the playfulness, Sheldon. Joker. So not only did Dad come in and surprise me, George also surprised me with Dad's artwork that's actually going to be on my set. This is going to be part of our beautiful set this yes. week. It just makes it so much more special when I'm up there performing and knowing that I'm surrounded by all his creativity. I've chosen a song that I think really kind of just helps to kind of narrate this message that's coming from your dad, which is a modern anthem for yeah, definitely. sort of self-expression. This song's so important to me. It's finally like, let's celebrate. It's time to accept who we are, and it's time to sing about it. What do you think? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm still <laughs> gobsmacked <laughs> that time. I really felt that when you were singing it, Sheldon. So I wanted to affirm you that you are born this way. Oh, thanks, Dad. told me when I was young We were all born superstars She rolled my hair and put my lipstick on In a glass of her boudoir There's nothing wrong with loving who you are She said, cause he made you perfect, babe So hold your head up, girl, and you go far Listen to me when I say Makes no mistakes, I'm on the right track Maybe I was born this way Don't hold yourself in regret Just love yourself and you said I'm on the right track Maybe I was born this way Give your stuff prudence, love your friends So we can rejoice your truth The religion of the insecure I must be myself despite my the results here in my hand. Team George. And Team Joe. Congratulations, all of you are safe and going through to next week's semi-final. George gave me Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by Cindy Lauper. And he really wants to put his own kind of personality into that. They wanna have fun. But he didn't sound like he was having fun. It was just too, too weird. If I say something's weird, you're in trouble. So far away from the original that it's unrecognisable. I mean, it's sort of, yeah, it's just too goth. And it's a little bit too dragged out for Is me. Is the idea there, though? The it's a long way from where I think it should be right now. Will I stay clear from a five people elimination with a beat, though? He was not happy. Something that's really big in music today is switching stuff up massively. Look, you're not talking to someone who doesn't understand music. No, no, music. I know that. I'm, I just saying, I'm just telling you that was my... No, no, hold on. You, know. you want to do that and you think it's going to work, but I'm not convinced it's going to work. George has supported me for so long and I'm disappointed in myself that I may have possibly disappointed somebody today. You really do have to trust me. I do. So I'd like to change the song okay. to Katy Perry Rise. Oof. 
Alrighty, it's time to gain some respect back and I need to get out on that stage and show George I'm here to fight. through to next week's show and still in with a shot at the title is from Team George Sheldon is very unique. Yes. Well done, baby. Oh. <laughs> He's a makeup department's dream, wardrobe department's dream. He's modern Australia. Tell me what this has been like for you. It's been the hardest thing I've done so far. In what respect, though? I just, I think I came in saying, everyone love yourself and stuff, and I, I think the voice has made me understand that I've had to do that for myself. If it's love that you I think for you, this has been, you know, a sort of revelation. Reflecting on my time on The Voice, it hasn't been all smiles and rainbows. There's been lots of breakdown moments, lots of breakthrough moments. Anybody up here is here in long-term careers is about reputation. So what you're selling and saying, make sure you live as well. Just sitting here now, I'm realising how big this experience really has been and how much work I put into, you know, Sheldon Riley. I personally think you've had quite a few defining moments. Mm. I mean, obviously, your initial blind. Yeah. Then when I called you a drama queen. Mm. So do I go with drama queen? <laughs> oh, stop it. Baby, when I call you a drama queen, that's a compliment. <laughs> you took umbrage with that. Yes. <laughs> yep. For you, what was the most defining moment? I can't get over my blind audition, and I didn't think four chairs were going to turn. I was just hoping for you. Great song. <laughs> yeah, that was the moment. Singing my idol song at my blind audition was definitely a risk, but every step I take on Team George, I've learned something so vital, whether it's the first live singing Creep or Born This Way, having to move and do something a bit different. George has taught me so much, and this show has given me so much experience to ultimately go out there and be the best artist I can be. So, Sheldon, the song for this week is going to be Lana Del Rey, Young and Beautiful. Will you still love me when I'm no longer young? 
made it to the grand finale. I can't believe I'm actually here. Minutes. I have. This is the gay version of 60 Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> My first question to you, why did you pick me as your coach? I just wanted to be with a coach that wouldn't change who I was. I mean, I don't care whether someone wears jeans and a t-shirt or comes mm -hmm. out in purple fur. It's not just about the clothes. I wanted a, a figure that's been through something as well and has experienced things, and I knew that you had, so. Do you like people commenting on what you're wearing, or do you prefer them to just accept you've got it on and not to make a big thing of it, or you actually, do you like this? I love this? being fussed on, to be oh, you honest do? with you. Yeah, when it's you walk funny. into makeup and they look at you and go, oh, oh my gosh, that's the outfit today. <laughs> I know, I think if people are going to think it's different, they might as well say it and make me feel good about it. How do you view our relationship? I've learned that you're the queen and I can just be the princess. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, he's taken the spot, it's cool. Have I lived up to your expectations? I think I still get a little bit nervous around you sometimes. You might sometimes forget that I'm still inspired by you like crazy and I still look at you as the top dog. Was there anything I could have done better? <laughs> anything you could have done better? You could have followed me on Instagram. <laughs> the important things. <laughs> have you ever disagreed with the song I've chosen for you? No. I know really you found think... Born This Way a little bit of a challenge, but yeah. mainly because you couldn't do what you normally do with a song, and that Correct. was kind of pull it apart and mm. almost re-sew it like you would do with an outfit. And that's one of your great gifts. What do you think about our duet? Travel the world and the seven seas. Thinking about it, I'm really happy with the song choice. It's so simple, but it's so powerful. Yeah. I love two menly men doing a power woman song. <laughs> <laughs> I am there to do whatever I can to get you to the winning post, and I really mean that. And I want you to be brilliant. Some of 
who does not have enough votes to win The Voice this year and will be leaving the competition right now is... Sheldon from Team George. Last season, it was disappointing to make it that far. At the time, feeling like I had given it absolutely everything I've got. I didn't feel like that's where my journey would end. I'm back and I'm an all-star. For me, it's time to show Australia what I've got. This is my time now. This fire is burning inside of me. I'm so determined. I'm ready.
<laughs> Look at you, that's gonna look amazing. Who wants to smoke? <laughs> wow. That performance was everything. Welcome back, Sheldon. I mean, I knew that you'd return. I wasn't sure you'd return so soon. It's very Game of Thrones tonight's drama. I loved it. <laughs> and I mean, I'm really excited to have you back. I'm so pleased to see you just up there again, looking so fantastic, doing what you really are born to do. I'm just bummed that I turn like at the end. Because then. You definitely miss the performance. Yeah, but on the flip side, I chose you based just on your vocal. And, and so. Uh, and, uh, I did you're too. My, I've only got one more spot. So for me, I've told myself I'm only going to turn if it's like crazy, crazy good. And your vocal was awesome. There's, you've grown. I think you've really grown in your voice. I, I you. want to know, I want to know what brought you back. Um, I was so swept away last year. It was a lot and I really forgot why I was here. And um, Delta, yeah. you said something to me last year. You said that I was hiding almost, or I had a mask on, and I thought to myself, well, I'm in tinsel jackets and sparkly outfits and big fur and all this stuff, how could I possibly be hiding? But it isn't really until I stripped it all away and I got out of it all that I realised you were very right and I wasn't who I was backstage and on stage and always love and light, but at the same time, you can't really spread love and light if you don't really truly believe that for yourself, so. Ooh. All right, Sheldon. I think what we were trying to talk about last year is, is it not sort of being it and not explaining it, embodying what you're trying to project, but not having to explain yourself. You do not have to explain yourself to anyone. I love how it's natural. You go straight into coaching with each other. <laughs> straight, he's like, hey, Sheldon, remember what I told you? So there's a new journey that's just started. You two were a force together and it was beautiful to watch. We're still a force together. You know, and, you don't lose me. And you're I'm still a force. Here. Exactly. Here. You're still a force. For me, when someone's as talented as you, it's like you want them to be everything and more. Yeah. Because you're that good. I, I want this next chapter again for you to be the best artist and the best person you possibly could be. I would love to be your coach to enjoy this incredible chapter, to work through all of those things you're thinking so we can continue to make you the best version. I, I guess it's really, it boils down to what you want, you know, like you, you, you guys have history together and, and um, we don't, but I know that you've got an incredible gift. And what I love is that that gift is teamed up with somebody who wants to say something. It's not just throw away. You've got a message and you've got something you want to stand for. And I love that. I want to create something that's deep with you, something that's really meaningful. And I'm fresh. Like, I'm just coming in fresh with Sheldon and we're... I feel fresh. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but back, to, back to my pitch. Stop trying to derail me. Don't Sorry, guy. But, you know, I, I don't know. We're, we're fresh. We would start fresh and, and, um, and I would just want to inject fresh. something that's really... Fresh. <laughs> Super fresh. Just you're honest. You're something be fresh, honest. Guy. <laughs> something honest. All I wanted to do was to sing Born to Try with Delta Goodrum back in the day. <laughs> so I really would love for you to be my coach. <laughs> really excites me about this season is actually the fact that my team's a little bit different to what I ever had before. Sorry, where do I stand Are here? you slightly scared of me or are you okay? I'm not scared of you. Good. No, I just, I feel like when I was with, on George's team, I was still in that comfort zone, whereas now I feel like I'm fighting harder than I was before when actually I know the process. Gross. But do you know what I mean? It feels like, I don't know, it's strange. It's gross. Thank you, yeah. You don't grow uh, in the comfortable, mm. you grow in the uncomfortable. I think that it's very fateful that the two of us would come together. I feel like there's a part of me that can learn from Sheldon, and there's a part of Sheldon that can learn from me. We found each other 
I helped you out of a broken place. You gave me comfort. Keep it still, keep it still. Falling for you is my mistake to call out my name. I have to challenge myself each year as well. And I think there's a reason that Sheldon, you and I are in each other's life right now. And I wanna challenge you, and I'm excited for you to challenge me. So in this moment, I'm taking you through. Congratulations, Sheldon. Ow. The first battle on Team Delta is Sheldon, the All-Star, and Jordan. Hi. You've got one of the most dramatic performers in Sheldon and probably the most understated but filled with heart performer in Jordan. Jordan, he can sing. Sheldon is such an amazing singer and such an amazing storyteller as well. Can you tell I'm nervous versing him or what? Sheldon, how are you feeling? Um, I don't know how I feel about what was said the other day. I would say, Sheldon, you were probably the, the most flat out of all those folks. There was moments where ah, it was just a little flat. I definitely really? disagree with that. I think there was bits where I really, I was going, come on, get to the note. Yeah. I don't know if I was flat or not, but I should have just taken that as constructive criticism rather than an attack. I really want to show Delta that I'm so ready to take this on. The song I've chosen is Praying by Kesha. Oh, awesome. I love this song. Oh, me too. Yeah, me I'm too. really happy with it. Oh I can God. really connect to this as well. Yeah. I used to um, get bullied quite badly, like, all through primary school, and I felt, you know, not, not needed, that I didn't belong. What do you think about? We're kind of, you know, all those kids that I've moved on from telling them, you know, and you were wrong now, the best is yet to come. Yes. Quite a few lyrics that I really connect to. Bullying is really going to be the story that I'm going to be trying to convey to the audience. Bullies are projecting their own problems onto you. Bullies are projecting what they're insecure about onto you. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I wish I'd have been told that when I was, <laughs> when I was your age as well. I'm sorry. It's okay, babe. It's kind of just like the song to say, like, go out and do it and show it and live it and... Well, you almost had me fooled. I never really sing songs that push me. I don't sing songs that make me feel emotional or make me feel like I have no control. It just... It really makes me quite nervous. I hope you find your peace Falling on your knees Praying Sheldon and Jordan, the fact that they can stand up there and say these words from a place of experience, that I'm excited for. Well, you almost had me fall Told me that I was nothing without you oh. And you said that I was done Thank Jordan! Oh, you were wrong and now the best is yet to come You brought the flames and you put me through hell I had to learn how to fight for myself And we both know all the truths I could tell just say this is I wish you farewell I hope you're somewhere
I'd like to continue to nurture and protect Jordan. Congratulations, Jordan. You are going through to the finals. Sheldon, last year we discovered you and I loved watching the journey you had with George. And now it's time to make you the superstar. And I'm choosing you, Sheldon. Congratulations, Sheldon! How did you feel when all the coaches were kind of questioning this? Sometimes I don't know the difference between being questioned and being complimented. Not everyone is going to love what you do. It means that you evoke a lot of emotion and that's something that some artists would absolutely kill for. Yeah. If you want to be a superstar, yeah. I don't want you buying into the positive or the negative. Continue to rise above and move forward. From now on, I'm not going to listen to everything that's been said to me and instead really focus in on what I've come here to do. The song I've chosen for you is Everyone Wants to Rule the World, the Lord version. OK. This song's a really challenging song to sing. It's a full storytelling song. You need to be able to understand every word. You can't just slip away with this song and just sing it. Everybody wants to rule the And there's a room where the light won't find you. Sheldon has this incredible ability to be able to make people feel, but we've got to make sure that that's in the performance. Just really show off your voice. Okay. It's finals. Okay. No other time but now. <laughs> The grounding part and the realness is in your eyes and in your heart. That's where that comes through. Right. The rest of it is still a show. Yep. It's got to be a big performance. I have to bring everything to this song because everything's laying on this one moment. I'm excited to show Australia just how big I can make this, but it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> through is Sheldon. Yeah! Sheldon, congratulations. Yeah! So tell me how you feel after last week. I was proud. It was good to stand there and just everyone was, ah, it was good. It was a good moment. But yes, but I feel like it gets harder from here, though. We're not going to try to compete with last week. But what we're going to do is we're going to do our version of a modern song. I could have easily given Sheldon the same kind of song as last week, but I refuse to stay complacent in this space. We have to continually challenge the artists for them to grow. So I've chosen 
Seven Rings by Ariana Grande, <laughs> which I know is a challenge. <laughs> but. But. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't usually do upbeat pop songs. We've got to find our version in there. Okay. Get me? Yep. Everything in my mind is like, this is not going to go down well. Just like me doing that kind of pop, it just isn't what I do. Hmm. I trust you. I trust everyone. This is... It's not like, yes, I love that song, Coach Delta. It was more like, hmm. Dang. <laughs> Give it a go. Breakfast at Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles. If I give you a song, any song on the planet, you should be able to make it sound like that is you as an artist. Write my own checks like I write what I sing. I smile, it's bit ooh. It really was just like a brain click moment. It was just like, oh, yes, actually, this might work. And then I kept going. <laughs> All right, so I kind of love it. You crack me up! <laughs> How do you feel with that? I'm in love with it. I you love like it. that? I love it. Yep. OK. No one ever wins by staying safe every week. I'm going to trust Delta and show everyone that I can do this. Breakfast at Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles Girls with tattoos are like getting in trouble Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines Buy myself all of my favourite things Been through some bad shit, I should be a savage Who would have thought it turned me to a savage? Rather be tied up with cars and not strings Write my own checks like I write what I sing My smile is gleaming, my skin it shines, I know you've seen it I bought a crib just for the closet Both is and hers, I want it, I got it I want it, I got it, I want it, I got it Want it, I got it Oh, you like my head, she thinks Just bought it, I see it, I like it I want it, I got it Diamonds, ATM machines Buy myself all of my favorite things Been through some bad shit, I should be a savage Who would have thought it turned me to a savage? Rather be tied up with cars and not strings Write my own checks Like I write What I say Sheldon, tell me, what is your dream? My big dream is to do Eurovision. That's the only place in the world I've ever watched something happen and you get so celebrated for being you. Hold me now as we walk into the night. I could absolutely see him representing the country, but first off, I want to get him through to the grand finale. Why don't we make the most epic, huge performance we possibly can here. Our fight to get into the grand finale is The Show Must Go On by Queen. Really? This is my favourite song of all time. This yeah. is the number one. We have to go big. We go big or go home. Yeah. Everybody knows Queen and this song is timeless. So they're going to be expecting something really big and really great. I've sung some big ones, but this is the biggest. Show I don't want you to do as many runs. Yep. I want you to be powerful enough to go, show must go up. There's a lot of depth in each note that Sheldon sings. It's not the time to start 
doing acrobats. You have such beautiful, long notes with big, rounded body in them. Hold on to those. Okay. It's dramatic. For this song, I need to stick to my strengths. It needs to just be clean notes that just hits the heart and makes people feel something. Freddie Mercury's a great showman. You're a great showman. So go be the best. Empty spaces, what are we living for? Abandoned places, I guess we know the score. On and on, does anybody know what we are living for? Another hero, another miner's crime. Behind the curtain, in the pantomime. Sheldon, Jack, Zeke, just one of you will be singing to win in Sunday night's grand finale. The other two will sadly be leaving the competition right now. The fourth and final artist who is going through to the grand finale and still in the running for the title of The Voice 2019 is... It's Zeke! Yeah!